Okay, so right here, you can see battery A to the left is charging up the coil on the bottom as shown in red. Previously, battery B was, charged, was charging the top coil. So anyway, pay attention to battery A and its charge on the bottom coil and the switch there controlling the charge. When that switch opens, the bottom coil will lose its charge, drop its field completely, and then a reverse flyback voltage will occur. If you notice on the bottom coil, the one in red, to the left of the coil you see the plus, and to the right of the coil you see the minus. When the switch is open and the charge drops on this coil in red, the plus will move to the other side and the minus will move to the other side essentially flipping the polarity of this coil that's what the reverse flyback voltage means it means reverse for reverse polarity and once the reverse flyback voltage reverses its polarity after it loses its charge from battery A and the switch opens it will begin to fly back I'm going to continue the video to show that. The waveform is basically like the radiant spike found in a DC pulse circuit. When you pulse a, a DC uh, signal through a uh, inductor. The same thing you see on the Bedini circuit, the, the, the spike. Well, we're dumping the spike between the two batteries. So here, you can see the bottom coil has just flipped its polarity whereas before the left side of the bottom coil was positive it's now negative and you see the right side is positive instead of negative now the bottom coil was in red before because it was getting charged from battery A I'll go back a little bit here so there you have uh, you know the bottom the bottom coil once again is being charged by battery A and the switch underneath the, there will open up soon pay attention see the switch just opened up and the bottom coil flipped its polarity and it has nowhere to go but to the battery B at the same time the switch below bottom the bottom coil opens the switch above the top coil is closing and now the top coil is receiving charge from the opposite battery battery B of course previously the bottom coil was charged by battery A and it's flying back into battery B now at the same time that battery B is charging the top coil they can be mechanical switches, they can be transistors, they can be relays, uh, read switches, hall sensors, any type of trigger you want to use. Uh, I'm still figuring out this circuit's uh, switching operation myself. It's based off the Bedini SG circuit and how that Bedini circuit will capture the flyback. Uh, the flyback occurs in blue uh, in reverse polarity uh, to the charge it was given initially so the red coil is the initial charge from your battery and it's actually the forward I call that the forward charge and the blue coil is it's not receiving charge in blue it's it's um, so in blue, it's already re received charge previously, and it, it, that charge collapsed. And the blue represents the flyback uh, event that occurs in an inductor when you turn off the switch and you turn off the power to it. So it reverses polarity in that situation. 
and you're able to capture that back into a storage device of your choosing as long as it can handle the high voltage. The flyback voltage is very little current. It's next to no current. It's super high voltage. And uh, of course we all know we can drop voltage to increase current. So it's just uh, an exchange happening here. Um, likewise the uh, red coil when it's being energized by the battery it will uh, When, it, when, the, when it's being energized by the battery in red, it will, uh, you know, create inductance to the coil and EMF fields are generated. And you can use those coils to drive a motor or uh, generate alternating current or DC current. And um, it's important to capture the, the radiant radiation coming off those coils when they're charged in red. Uh, through another method. As far as the flyback voltage goes, when that's happening, well, at that moment that the flyback occurs, you're not you're not actually using any power from the battery. You're just uh, you're not that flyback is not coming from the power. It's coming from we call it surge power. You know, like a surge protector is basically capturing the flyback that happens in these switching circuits. And these inductors, when they're being switched, it will just capture that flyback and funnel it to the ground, throw it out, so they don't harm their transistors and all that. But you can also, instead of funneling it to ground, you can funnel it to a battery or a capacitor. In the same token, you're not harming your transistors. Bedini demonstrated that with the SG circuit. Yeah, you can slow down the frequency. Uh, if you experience problems. I don't know if this thing will run, run high frequency or not. But I'm, I want people to look at the circuit and find issues with it that they can see or even ask questions as to how the circuit's functioning. And they can be mechanical switches, they can be transistors, they can be relays, uh, read switches, hall sensors, any type of trigger you want to use. I don't know if this thing will run, run high frequency or not. But I'm, I want people to look at the circuit and find issues with it that they can see. Or even ask questions as to how the circuit's functioning. If you have questions about the blue and the red or what reverse flyback is, let me know.